Hi, I'm the developer of Spacecraft Tactics. This is the third part of this series. On this one, I play the campaign of my game on normal difficulty. I will also do every side mission. In the last video, we finished the level 1 Pirates missions and we also destroyed the scout portal. So, before we continue with the main mission, let's check first uh, crafting, because we got a lot of loot last time. So, first of all, alloys five times. Let's process it, that we can also then use it uh, in crafting and then upgrading modules. Same for basic materials, electrolytes. Oh, we found an engine M. This is very nice. We will uh, add that to our ship. Iron weapon, we already got that. A missile launcher, also very nice. Organic compounds, let's process it. Crafting materials. Sensor S and wall, we also don't need that, so let's process it. So we have 16 electrolytes already. This means we can also do additionally some updates. That's really great. So, ah yeah, exactly. We also need to craft an energy capacitor. Let's so first craft that capacitor, because that's still missing on our ship. Okay, then let's go to the hangar. And yeah, first of all, about oh, that crew member, let's quickly move that crew member because we would need to place the capacitor there. Okay, so let's add the capacitor at this spot. Very nice. Then let's uh, replace this thruster with a proper engine. Engine uh, needs more power, but has also way more uh, yeah, power. So it needs more energy, but has more power, more thrust. So we definitely want to have an engine in our ship. Then um, let's check what else did we have we got. So maybe we can also move that stuff to the um, station. Okay, we still have another iron weapon, a cluster, and missile launcher. Let's add the iron weapon to our ship for now. Let's just uh, add it there. Okay, it's the wrong direction, but we can just rotate it. Okay. And we also need to connect it uh, to the network and to the energy grid. So let's just add some cables there. Okay. Now it's also connected. Um, let's check what else can we do. Um, ah yeah, right. We depleted uh, energy cells of our crew members in the last video. So let's craft some more energy cells. So let's craft two of them. Okay. Go to hangar. Let's just uh, move it to the inventory of our crew. So one energy cell for this crew member. Ah, we also need more repair parts. And another energy cell for this crew member. And then let's also craft five more repair parts. Five. Okay. Just as a transfer to this crew member. Okay, very nice. So let's check the inventory of the ship. So that's fine. Um, but we still have um, 10 electrolytes left. Let's see whether we can already upgrade our shields. No, not yet. We need 11. So let's uh, wait for now. I guess we already got uh, great upgrades so far. So, um, yeah, basically then continue with the main mission. Oh, our station is uh, under attack, but yeah, let's quickly uh, kill these pirates. We can also use this opportunity to check our new build. Look how um, maneuverable we now are, at least when using the engines. So the tactic there is to switch between engines and thrusters depending on the situation. So let's just stop the ship using the engines. We can already now enable the thrusters, turn the ship, 
and fire. Gunfire, we need to reposition it a bit. Okay. So the engine has also has only a very narrow cone. Maybe I can just quickly um, disable the. Oh, let's wait until the chip is stopped. I can quickly disable the thrusters to demonstrate that. So basically, this is now the uh, direction I can fly. So that's the cone of the engine. So when the ship is orientated in that way. If I turn the ship, let's check again, then I could move the ship just in that cone, in that direction. Just for comparison, if I disable the engine and enable one of the thrusters, let's check the same again. So that's uh, 90 degrees. So that's a right, uh, yeah, greater angle um, where the ship can move without turning. And that's definitely a difference. But on the other hand, um, the thruster, if I enable the thruster, now we got uh, 0 uh, uh, 0.44 acceleration. Let's stop the ship. And now let's enable the engine. And let's do the same. Let's just, okay, it stopped. So let's accelerate using the engine. And it's only at 100% energy. And we got 1.2 acceleration. So, way more maneuverable but as you can see i need to turn ship all the time that's of course the caveat okay so let's get back to the station go to hangar again so did i already add the repair parts yes i did okay we can't do upgrades so let's continue with the main mission okay so dialogues start dialogue the empire now knows our position it's only a matter of time until a fleet will destroy us. Our first priority is now to relocate the outpost. We need intel and technology to achieve that. I've added markers on your map. Okay, there's a second dialogue. We have quite some trouble with pirates in this area. Keep destroying their bases. So this is basically that pirate's uh, side mission. If I just select that, we got new targets there. Pirate base 2. But um, maybe at this point, let's yeah, let's continue with the main mission first. So we have now two possibilities. We could move, uh, fly to that Nebula Alpha Club, or we can uh, fly to the mining station. Let's start with the club. Um, we can see it as a yellow marker, but if you hover, we see two um, markers there, basically that just just. Um, over each other so um, this means there's also possibility to just use the portal and jump there okay so i just enable engines now that we could get good acceleration that's also set full speed and as you can see the target velocity the maximum speed is now a bit lower than before because we got now some better modules and these are also have more weight so our ship has more mass now. Okay, enter portal. Nebula Alpha Club. So let's just park over there. Yeah, that's a small club. There are various types of persons can meet. Let's call it that way. And um, we likely also get some into there, the club. So enter station. Okay, so let's first talk to the bouncer. Stand aside there, please. Okay. So let's next talk to this unsuspicious guest. You look like one of these rebels, aren't you? I could use some capable guys like you to escort my delivery. Everything that will hurt the empire, empire counts, right? 
Okay, so this is basically a side quest. We now got a new quest, delivery. And let's also talk to this... Ah, this is our contact. We want some information. I'm sure we will find an agreement. There's a pirate station not far from here. They cause a lot of trouble and that's not good for business. Destroy the station and you will get your information. Okay. So, let's leave. And, um, let's see, there's a new marker, pirate station. Uh, it's just over there, also not far from here. So, let's switch to engines again. And let's go. Full speed is still set. So, we should quite quickly be there. member there because um, usually we get uh, damage at the front of course this is now a micro optimization but we then basically save uh, four or five turns until the crew members at the right spot so we have still class s lasers and one iron weapon so one iron weapon two standard lasers and one close laser so there's definitely still something to do for us to upgrade our ship but we will do as also we are progressing through the mission. Oh, I forgot we could already remove the scrambler from our ship, so yeah, let's do it next time when we are back at the outpost. Because that scrambler is only needed for that first mission we already did. Oh, be careful. Not to bump into the asteroid. Oh, that's a bit. Oh, that was very close. Oh, that was also very close. Okay, let's quickly stop the ship and check the situation. Okay, so there are mines. This is new. We are now in the second chapter of the campaign. And uh, it seems like... Oh wait, pirate station? Ah yeah, no, we have to destroy that. So, it seems like there's in the, in the middle there the pirate station and it's also guarded. So, first of all, we should destroy these mines before we even think about getting closer. Uh, maybe we can use that asteroid also as a shield. So let's set full power to the thrusters or to the engines. And now let's just fly in that direction until the mines engage us. We could also check that when using the scanner. Are we out of range? So let's already stop. Okay, I guess we don't need to target it. that works yeah that works so then these mines I mean they head towards that ship but they are not that smart so I guess we can oh no it didn't work so okay so only one mine left hopefully we can outrun it Maybe that one hits us, but okay, one mine is okay. Uh, let's let's fire at it. Oh no, it hit us. Yeah, one mine did already quite substantial damage there. So and if you're hit by multiple mines, that's definitely very dangerous then. So, ah, and uh, these ships are they engaging? I oh, know it is engaging again. But probably if, uh, when we were over there, they were aggro. So let's see. Maybe we should do the same now. Or maybe... So there's the, over there is also an asteroid and there are other more mines. So maybe let's quickly fly from there this way. And trigger these mines. And then take cover behind that asteroid. That we can clear these mines first. there. So let's 
fly in this direction. What's happening with that ship? I don't know. Um, oh, now it's engaging. Just waited for me. Okay, there are these mines again. Oh, by the way, another application for the scanner module. So let's just wait that I'm getting in range of the um, scanner. Oh, do I? Maybe not. Because uh, if I, I can see also the radius of the mine in an active scan. But yeah, that S module is has not enough range so far. Oh, we also getting some damage from these. Ribs. Maybe let's just fire back and let's get cover first behind that asteroid. Oh, there's another ship coming. Okay, at least we cleared these mines. So maybe let's just engage this ship. And then thrusters disable engines and open fire. These uh, small ships. They are not very strong, but hard to hit. So... But, okay, only a few turns. Okay, now it's destroyed. Let's already destroy the next one. But there are more coming. Oh, this one has a Class M hull, hull laser. It's a bit more dangerous to us. And another one with a hull laser. Be a bit careful there, especially because we only have class S shields so far. Oh, oh more ships are coming. Let's retreat for now. So enable engines again. Let's just, get, let's just get out of here for now, because there are way too many ships coming now. Maybe we can fire at this one. If we hit... Oh, out of range already. Okay, let's also stop our ship. Oh no, they are engaging again. Oh no, they are disengaging, no. Okay. Ah, they are repairing. It's nice, but we are out of range. Let's get in range. Okay, I can see the mini map that the other ships also disengaged again. Okay, let's stop again. We don't get too close to the, all the other ships. Away. Maybe we can ram that ship. Yeah, we can. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, it's destroyed. Okay, nice. Oh, oh, our energy generator is destroyed. But this time we have a capacitor. Of course, capacitor is not draining, but at least uh, we are not completely uh, dark now. So that's definitely. Uh, the also important part. So in the last video, you know, I almost died because of similar situation when the generator was down because I had no capacitor. 
this time it was much easier. Maybe let's fly over there to this asteroid and then attack from another angle, because there are right now too many ships. good then maybe also let's fly in this direction we can trigger also these mines and then take cover behind that asteroid again oh there are also some ships with um, long-range lasers very dangerous Accelerate. It's a bit close to the asteroid, but I guess we don't bump into it. So let's already turn. That's maybe a bit too. Oh no. We crash into that asteroid. Uh oh. Accelerate. Okay, well, I got hit by that mine and probably also by this one. Let's try something. Oh, let's fire. Oh no, we also got hit. Okay, let's stop the ship. At least we can then maybe fire at some of these uh, smaller ships. Let's reduce power there and let's open fire. Okay, these ships are there, so let's move that direction. Let's reduce speed. Okay, we destroyed it. Let's see where is the next target. Maybe let's engage this ship here. We got some damage. Stop the ship again. Okay, more are coming. Let's already fly to this direction back. Oh, that asteroid is not moving. Oh no, we are moving. Okay. Use the speed. can be hit by this ship. Oh, we are too far. <laughs> Let's move back. Okay, stop again. So now it sh just should hit. And maybe a few more turns. I already got uh, big damage there. So a few more turns and probably that one is also destroyed. And our shield generator is fully drained, so a bit careful there. So 
as soon as these ships manage to get around that asteroid. Have to be very careful because that ship really drains our shield very fast and yeah, shield, shield buffer is completely drained now. So we definitely get a lot of damage if we get hit. Okay, let's just ram that ship. Just be careful not to bump into the asteroid. Okay. That is destroyed. Oh, and our asteroid is also getting destroyed. Full speed. Okay, so it's destroyed. So now before we engage these ships, oh, we're just in time, that one now managed to get around. So let's just enable engines and let's uh, retreat for now that we can reload our shield buffer, otherwise we are getting just too much damage there. Just one hit here. Okay, shield buffers are already almost built again. So, yeah, let's fly back. Maybe we can engage this ship. So let's just engage that one. Let's enable clusters again. Coming. Probably the AI is right now repairing. Let's just ram it. That's quite effective against these very small ships. It also works. Oh, you have to be careful there to not bump into the asteroid. That works for these uh, small ships because these uh, small ships don't have much mass. Therefore, our the damage we are getting is not that high. If we would bump with full speed, for example, into a station or a bigger ship, then we would also get heavy damage, and we can't do that. But with the smaller ships, it's fine. So let's just use this as a tactic. Oh, and our energy generator got destroyed again, but the crew is already uh, repairing it. So that's fine. Let's just quickly enable thrusters, disable engine. Let's just take cover there. And in the meantime, there's a fire at that ship. Stop. Okay, we are out of uh, range. Yeah, we definitely got some damage there. And um, also one laser's down. Let's just check. But yeah, also many of these smaller ships are now already down. So yeah, let's say let's just engage again. Full speed. And just run that ship as well. sound good. It was just another floor tide. Oh, we are getting hit by this ship. Then... Okay, let's go to the extended map. Maybe let's take cover behind that asteroid. Because we also can't hit right now. That ship, oh, maybe let's fire. Ah, weapons are down. Okay, then let's just um, let's just take cover. Doesn't make sense right now. Oh, something broke. No, oh, so let's 
it's uh, set uh, full energy 150% to engines that we quickly get over there. And then we really have to repair everything. Okay, that was a nice hit. So we should get good cover there. Oh, we have to be careful because there are mines. Okay, let's stop the ship. Okay, then let's repair. Ah, oh, that one will engage as soon. Maybe we can't re Oh no. We have to go again, then let's engage this ship. At least the other one is now out of range for now. Maybe we can get this one. Okay, we could ram it and it got quite some damage. We damaged the energy generator. So I enabled thrusters and let's just fire at the ship. It's out of range almost already. Okay, disable thrusters again and chase it using just the engines. Thrusters again, disable engine, and we destroyed it, very nice. So let's now go for this ship. coming yet. Now I remember locked in. Now it's trying to get some range because they have a long range laser. But yeah I guess we can ram it. Nice. It's almost destroyed. Let's not get to oh the the mines are engaging us, so let's quickly get some cover. Oh no they're engaging. Okay, this time we should get good cover there. Let's just quickly stop the ship until the mines are destroyed. And then let's go after that ship again. Okay, nice. So where is that ship now? I guess it's somewhere around there, probably behind that marker. Ah oh, yeah, there it is. So maybe that's in that direction that we can avoid the mines there. And 
open fire. Not yet in range. Almost. Oh yeah, in range. It. Let's turn and go after it. Oh, and that station is now firing at us. Getting some damage over there. direction that the ship has to follow us that we can change directions and probably destroy it oh no let's park no, let's not jump into that asteroid okay avoided it broke. All of weapons broke. the crew member ran out of repair parts so that in that case just let's oh maybe let's just get some repair parts from the other crew member so we just transfer now some parts from inventory to inventory okay let's say five okay now we're back in business oops no you stay there let's disable automation for this one Oh, and we have to be careful there now. Come on, log in. Okay, we need to take some cover quickly. Maybe let's fire out these mines. Oh, and they will trust us now. Stop the ship. Oh no. Okay, this one hit us. Okay, let's just Oh no, there's that ship coming again. Let's take cover first behind this asteroid. And then we get in the meantime until we are there, then probably also got everything repaired. And then we can engage the remaining ship finally.
Okay, let's stop the ship. Oh, there are some more pirates coming. Oh no, there are more pirates. But at least the ship is almost repaired. So then let's engage these pirates. This ship cannot engage us directly. Okay, nice. Destroy it and then let's just destroy that one. Okay, this uh, ship is still not engaging, that's good. Because that would be worst case if we fight against a Two standard lasers ship, and then from the right there's a um, long-range laser also firing at us. More ships? Oh, oh that, that looks a little, even a bit bigger, but at least they didn't arrive at the same time. Let's finish that one, and then let's just uh, fight against the other one. Ship. So, okay, it's in range now. Maybe we can speed it up. Let's disable engines and let's add full power to lasers and only standard power to thrusters. So, there are definitely now some spikes there. But I guess our capacitor is stable enough. I think we now need to turn the ship. Okay. Good hit. To turn again. Okay, let's fly in that direction. Oh, the other one is coming. Now let's fly in that direction. Okay, we destroyed it. Nice, we got a weapon mod. So then let's finish that one off. Should not take long because it already got quite some damage. Oh, it's, it's destroyed already. Okay. Nice. Oh, we got really lots of loot there. Okay. Now let's just engage this ship. Then the station. Do we have still enough repair parts? Three. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe we can permanently maybe set 125% because uh, the energy generator class M definitely has enough capacity for it and these are all class S lasers. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, let's say uh, at full speed there. This was a 
good hit. A few hits. Oh, but I think we're getting out of range. Ah, oh, but it also has to. Uh, maybe it can slip through that. These asteroids. But now we also. Have, I also have to be a bit careful. Us, disable engine, turn the ship, stop the ship, and yeah. And it's destroyed. Nice. Okay. Oh, well, we really found lots of loot now. So, um, now let's finally just let's destroy the pirate station. That is our actual uh, objective here. If I recall correctly, we also need to bit, be a bit careful there. Let's uh, approach from below. The ship to take it a bit aligned in the station. Okay. Almost below, that's fine. And now so then let's engage. Let's just get close. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's stop the ship already. Disable engines, full powered weapons. Hopefully we can. Oh, full powered with blasters. Hopefully we can stop the ship in time. Hopefully we don't crash into the station. Ah, we are too fast. That's not good. Oh no. Okay, so this didn't work as planned. Let's retreat and try it again. Yeah, forgot to set full energy to the thrusters. Okay, I think we can already stop. We should be out of range soon. Yeah, let's just repair and then try it again. This time a bit more careful. Okay, okay we will also add repair automation to this crew member, then it will repair faster.
that tile, I will log into the console again and try it again. We still have enough repair parts. Oh, okay, basically two. Must be enough. Okay, so this time trust us have full power. Uh, let's try it again. Not that fast. You can already stop the ship. Let's check the range there. You also are the range with that weapon. Okay, guys. This time this looks better. have been destroyed already. Okay, let's retreat again. We did not do significant damage yet. After I repaired, let's give it a third try. And if this also fails, then we need to yeah, change our approach there. already. anymore. Yeah, so probably I just can send this crew member then to the console. Yep, yeah, empty. Okay, let's log in again. This one still has two repair parts. Okay. So, next time I try to get outside, out of range of that close laser first until it's destroyed. So, I can just check the range of my close laser. So, I need to get um, outside of range 30. So, let's try again. Hopefully we can stay out of the range. 35. No, we are too fast. That's not going to work. A good idea, bad execution. 
here, running more and more out of repair parts. Okay, let's then let's do something else. That's definitely quite hard right now. Um, oh no! Our collector module has been destroyed. Let's quickly repair it, that we can get our loot back. Because my idea was that we just fly back to the outpost and upgrade our ship, and then it's, this will be much easier because we also got really lots of loot. Collecting everything now again. So how do we get to the outpost? We have to fly back to the club. Okay. Yeah, we also need to uh, restock repair parts. So let's just upgrade our ship, restock, and then this station will be quite easy to destroy. Unfortunate that we didn't quite make it, but yeah, let's play safe. Oh no, what I'm doing? I can already see the club over there, so doesn't take long to be just get back to the outpost. We can already check what we found so far. So, oh, two standard lasers. That, that's nice. And also shield emitter. That shield emitter yields uh, lots of electrolytes. So, that in turn will probably then enough that we can also do some upgrades. And additionally, we also found two standard lasers. So, for example, we could replace these two iron weapons with standard lasers. Uh, this, this iron weapon and add another standard laser. Then we have five weapons. That's quite a lot. Yeah, maybe let's do it. So, okay, there's already that uh, station guard. There's the club. And we are on a collision course, so let's change course. Again. Enter station. Let's first go to crafting. So, door, standard lasers, missile launcher, ah, sensor. Ah, this is, a, this is the big sensor. Let's keep it. That's, that's definitely a good upgrade. Then, yeah, we don't need another shield emitter. Oh, we only get one electro. I thought that. Ah, it's XS, it's not S. Therefore. Okay, we have at least one another electrolyte. Now we have 11. 
And that's, I guess, good enough that we can upgrade our shields. And this will be definitely a huge upgrade. So another thruster. No, we don't need it. All, all, all. Okay, let's first um, craft, let's say, 15 repair parts. Because we are really depleted there with, uh, on the repair parts. Um, yeah, that's okay for now for crafting. Let's go to the hangar. First of all, let's uh, distribute these repair parts. You also get five. And let's just add another five to the storage. Okay, then let's swap that um, iron weapon with a standard laser and let's add here another standard laser. Don't forget, let's not forget to also add the cables there, now it's connected. Okay, ah, now we have too many um, uh, systems on our hull, but we don't need that scramble anymore, so let's just remove it. Okay, nice. Yeah. And um, now, what else can we do? Let's check. Let's move that sensor for now just to the storage because um, we should also first upgrade the console before we can upgrade the sensor. So let's wait for that. And yeah, let's also upgrade our shield now. That's the most important upgrade. Very nice upgrade. And uh, now we also received a shield generator because this is only a, an emitter now, but uh, class M. So maybe let's place the generator yeah, just over there. Is it wise to place it next to the energy? Yeah, okay, let's just place it there. Okay. Now we also need to connect it with cables again. So let's add a cable there, there, and there. Okay, now it's connected and now it's producing a shield. And maybe you also noticed these dots, blue dots, uh, green dots. So these are fields. So two green dots means that there is uh, oxygen, so yeah, that crew member can breathe. And uh, it's, uh, it is uh, basically two plateaus or two levels. So that's uh, quite. Uh, that all depends on the air vents. It's only class S. If I upgrade them later, then we get another plateau or level of oxygen. This means we have more, bu more buffer. And same, it works the same for shields. Now we have three dots there. Before that, we only had two dots. This means the shield emitter class M is not only producing uh, more. Shields, also the G channel is not only producing more, but it's also got another plateau or level, so um, the shield is also stronger. Um, yeah, then I guess, yeah, we are ready to go. So let's just finish that. Oh, another pirate, but yeah, that guard will manage that. So let's just uh, fly back to the um, pirate station and destroy it and this should be no problem now with all, of the, with all these upgrades maybe let's set the weapon power to 25 percent we have now two more lasers so we have to check the capacitor then whether this is fine okay the portal the alpha club just let's head straight to the Oh, maybe let's fly that direction. Let's head straight to the pirate base again. And we also got a bit lighter now with uh, less loot, so we are also slightly faster now again. takes now a few turns until we are there. 
but it's already over there on the mini map, so it's not far. Maybe a minute and we are there. Now we need to change course. So basically I will use the same approach than before. So let's approach from below or from maybe from top, doesn't make a difference. Um, but this time we have more lasers and we have better shields, so I don't expect uh, any trouble anymore. By the way, I mean we did more missions so far, we all were also a bit lucky, especially that we could already um, just find a ge energy generator M and did not have to upgrade it, otherwise we would not have had enough um, electrolytes yet to also upgrade the shield, so shield upgrade would not have been possible, but there would also be other strategies to get uh, well defended and yeah, stationed down. So for example, we could, instead of that, um, equip a missile launcher, and maybe equip it with torpedoes, and with torpedoes we could also easily destroy that uh, close laser that uh, basically caused all the trouble we had so far. So there are definitely several different options. We could also use mines, as a bit of a cheese tactic. Um, or we could also be a bit more careful and just better uh, than executing our idea. So let's, uh, we could also just have been stayed out of uh, range of that close laser. Then we would also have just, uh, we would also been able to destroy it. Okay, let's align with the station again. So a few more turns. Two, one. Okay, let's stop the ship. Ah, not yet good. Aligned. There is the station, let's just stop the camera and stop again. So there is the station where the mouse cursor is. Okay, perfect. Now the line alignment is good. So okay, let's try it with 190 120% weapon power, full thruster power, standard engine power, we also disable engines when we are approaching. And yeah target. Let's try it again. Oops. So let's go. Let's maybe not fly too fast. I will already reduce the speed. Disable engines. Stop the ship. This time. Oh, I think this time we can probably stop in time. Okay, capacitor is okay. So with the M shields, we're also getting less damage there. Weapons are already destroyed. Okay, now this time it works perfect. And yeah, now, now we can just destroy the station. Nice. Just these upgrades and a bit better execution only made a huge difference, as we can see. Can even get a bit closer now. I think I also have to destroy that part of the station with all five lasers. Okay, stop again. And yeah, now let's just wait until the station is destroyed. And it is destroyed already. Okay, nice. Return to the club. But we also got some loot there. More crafting materials. Very nice. Okay, but just let's wait. Because we can probably loot even more here. We can already reconfigure our ship. 
Um, good power. Oh no, let's use standard power engine, change velocity, now just let's wait until everything has been looted and then we can head back to the club. Or we hopefully we get the information we need now. And then we I will fly back to the outpost and save the game. Okay. So let's fly back to the club. can basically with that button follow ship um, enable or disable that the camera is following the ship so right now if you can see on that asteroid that the camera is moving with the ship now I press that button and now the camera stays where it is and I just see the ship moving so let's send the ship again Yeah, that asteroid got quite some damage, but yeah, it was very good cover, definitely. Yeah, I think it was a nice fight. It was not uh, enter, we are also already seeing that the campaign is getting a bit harder. But now with the ship upgrades, it in turn will get easier again. But uh, that's, let's say, the theme of the whole campaign. So the, the scenes are getting harder. Upgrade your ship, you find some loot, then it gets uh, difficult, it gets lower with better ships, but then uh, the scene's getting harder again, and there's uh, some, some balance between ship upgrades and difficulty. Club again. And the portal is over there. But yeah, when you think back uh, about the previous videos. So with these uh, engines, uh, the ship is definitely much more maneuverable. But we also have to switch between engine and thrusters. So on the other hand, it's a bit more complex to control the ship to make uh, the best out of it. So we should be able to jump shortly. Enter portal. Um, oh no, we forgot to talk to the uh, guy at the club. Oh no. Oh, let's crash into the portal. Totally forgot to speak to the guy there. Stop the ship, should be in range. Are we? Oh, probably two meters are missing. There we go, literally two meters. Okay, enter station. So we can talk to this guy now.
You did your part of the deal, now I will do mine. There's an asteroid field of interest a few astronomical units from here. The minerals there prevent long-range scanners to work efficiently. Perfect spot to hide. I've sent you the portal address, but it's only a rift. Okay, nice. So we got our information. We got a potential new uh, spot, a new location for our outpost. So, as you know, the mission is to get it relocated before the Empire attacks again. So, but now let's fly first to the outpost. And um, yeah, we got some more crafting materials. Let's maybe even restock some more repair parts. And then I will save the game and conclude this video. Okay. Enter portal. Outpost. that we are not colliding with the outpost. Okay, I can already stop the ship. Enter station! So, uh, let's quickly craft these uh, materials we found. Or oh, process, not craft, sorry. Okay. And let's save the game. Checkpoints. Save. Okay, nice. So, this concludes uh, today's uh, part. Thank you for watching. I hope this was quite interesting. I hope this was already um, interesting to see how these uh, fights work and also how I, or me as developer, intended everything. And yeah. Maybe see you in the next part. Bye.